Hello, I'm Kristen Smith with Aging and Independence Services, a division of the County of San Diego's Health and Human Services Agency. We sponsor the San Diego Fall Prevention Task Force. One in three adults over the age of 65 fall each year. In our county, over 12,000 seniors are treated in the emergency department, and most of these falls can be prevented. The evidence indicates that effective fall prevention includes medical management, exercise for balance and mobility, and home safety. In this short video, you will hear from a physician, a physical therapist, and a home safety expert. Our task force created a toolkit and an online resource guide to help you and your office staff. You can also show our award-winning video, Don't Fall For It, in your waiting room. You can access all of this at our website, sandiegofallprevention.org. Hi, I'm Dr. Eric McDonald, and every day I see the devastating consequences of falls in the emergency department where I work here in San Diego. From hip fractures to traumatic brain injuries, and most of these injuries are preventable. The American Geriatric Society recommends that older patients be asked about falls at least once a year, and that those who report a single fall be observed in a brief screen such as the get up and go test. A patient who demonstrates difficulty or unsteadiness on the screen and any patient who reports more than one fall or who presents for medical attention because of a fall should have a detailed fall risk assessment. The key assessment components are a history of fall circumstances, medication review, and examinations of vision, gait and balance, lower extremities, and basic neurologic and cardiovascular function. Up to one-third of patients will be found to have modifiable medical fall risk factors such as medication side effects, vision problems, or muscle weakness. Patients on anticoagulants deserve special attention for fall prevention. Evidence-based interventions that have been shown to reduce the risk of falling include the gradual withdrawal of psychotropic medications, cataract surgery, vitamin D supplementation in those with demonstrated deficiency, and pacemakers in those with carotid hypersensitivity. A major strategy to prevent falls involves exercise programs, programs for older adults that contain a focus on strength, balance, flexibility, and endurance are effective in reducing fall rates. Exercising in supervised groups, participating in Tai Chi, and carrying out individually prescribed exercise programs at home have all been shown to be effective in reducing falls. A wide variety of exercise programs tailored for older adults is available in the county, including the free of charge Feeling Fit Clubs and a free Tai Chi program through a recent CDC fall prevention grant. Interventions to improve home safety may be effective in reducing falls also, particularly in high-risk patients such as those with visual impairment, and when included in a multifaceted approach to risk reduction. A typical multifaceted approach might combine a thorough medical assessment with specific interventions such as a home modification evaluation, an exercise program, or a specialty referral. I'm Kim Bell, Physical Therapist and Gentiva Safe Strides Director. I'm currently the Chair of the San Diego Fall Prevention Task Force. If an older adult is only going to do one thing to reduce the risk for falls, the best thing for them is to exercise to maintain their balance and mobility. Our online resource guide lists many exercise programs specifically for older adults in San Diego. Older adults who are frail or have comorbidities may need a referral to physical therapy to help them set up an exercise program that takes into consideration their medical and surgical history. Many older adults have a vestibular problem. Referrals to physical therapists who specialize in vestibular are beneficial for patients that suffer from dizziness, vertigo, and disequilibrium. One quick screen to identify vestibular issues is to have your patient stand on a piece of foam with their feet together and their eyes closed. Failure to hold this position for 30 seconds would be an indicator to consider referring to a vestibular specialist. In addition to inpatient rehab centers, patients can receive physical therapy at an outpatient clinic or through skilled home health services. All of these may be found on our online resource guide. 
I'm Joanne Price, Director of ResponseLink of San Diego County Medical Alerts. Interventions to improve home safety may be effective in reducing falls, particularly in high-risk patients such as those with visual impairments or history of falls, and should be part of your multifaceted approach to fall risk reduction. Older adults can use a home safety checklist and go through each room, especially the kitchen and bathroom, where more falls are prevalent. Some things to consider are grab bars and railings, clearing clutter, and installing proper lighting. For frail elders at high risk, medical alert systems can be a lifesaver in the event of a fall or medical emergency. As a doctor, you may not have time to address all of this within a routine visit, but you can have your office staff give your patients a home safety checklist and you can refer them to home health. Our online resource guide includes several free community programs that install grab bars as well as many other resources. About two years ago, I had a fall, and I was very fortunate in that my health care provider gave me some ideas and awareness about the importance of avoiding future falls for seniors, which I am, and also referred to a physical therapist that recommended exercises, and since then I've been doing the exercises, walking, stairs, exercise machines in a gym, and I'm 88 and a half now and I feel great.